Okay, truthfully, this is what happened. I was literally just like standing here, just like that, eating my cereal, like in my bedroom, looking out my window. And I was just like, why not just film this very real moment that's going on right now? So uh, this is my intro to my video. Um... So it's been like kind of nice out lately, sunny 60s and it just has me inspired to upcycle these two things right here. So I got these a while ago. The first one is this very delightfully peachy linen button up. And I don't necessarily like the shape of this at all. I just picked it up because I love the color and I really liked the linen. The next one is this like white eyelet top that I just really, really liked because I definitely obsessively wear white. Like, it might be my favorite color. I feel like an angel, you know? And I feel like that's how everybody should feel all the time. Anyway, I got this top. I did not like the v-neck of it, personally, but I did like the sleeves and how, you know, kind of frilly and funky they were. So I thought that I would kind of just like change up the neckline of this and then maybe the bottom. And we'll see. Let's browse Pinterest together because I don't, I don't have any initial thoughts or plans for these. So let's get browsing. So if you are not already aware, I love to use Pinterest to get inspiration for my upcycles because it is just the place to be, as we all know. Let's go to Pinterest. I'm gonna go to my homepage. And how I like to search is just kind of like typing in keywords about, let's focus on the linen top that I'm gonna upcycle first. So maybe I'll type in something like linen top outfit summer let's see if that gets me anything okay yeah these are really cute <gasps> what they're so cute i'm really liking this one right here very fun this one right here Ooh, this one is super cool super fun super out there definitely pin this onto my summer outfits inspiration board because i think this top is super fun okay that's a good contender for the linen one let's try and search for something for the eyelet one so let's just type in like same thing eyelet okay 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 these eyelet tops here are definitely i'm liking what i'm seeing for sure but i am still indecisive about it this gives me some good um, momentum to go off of and maybe we can do some sketches now. So I'm just doing a few sketches here in my fashion area as I always love to do. I find this to be an essential part of how I kind of go about designing my upcycles because I'm just a pen on paper type of gal. And I love a fashion area because they have these very faint outlines of figures already on the page. So it makes it super simple, especially for someone like me who did not go to fashion school and I don't know how to draw fashion figures or sketches or any of that. So it makes it super easy for me to be able to kind of like plan out what I'm doing very quickly and get my ideas on the page. Fashionary is definitely a resource I would recommend. I've used a Fashionary for many years now. If you are interested in getting one yourself, I have a 10% off code for you guys on Fashionary's website. You can go to fashionary.org and use the code Sarah10 for 10% off of their entire website. After a little too long of deliberation on deciding, <laughs> on either of these tops. I'm gonna to start with this one and I'm going to do the one shoulder design idea. What am I gonna do first? I think, what am I gonna do? What, what am I gonna do? Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so I just tried it on like this. Maybe I'll just start by like cutting this sleeve off. You know what, let's just start with that. Can somebody tell me how the hell I am gonna get 
this pinned down on the back. I pinned all of this down because it's on the front of my body and I can reach it. <gasps> I know what to do. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this as a guide. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I'm gonna surge all this off, right? And then I'm gonna like finish that down later. But before I do that, I'll lay the top flat and then cut or like surge the same shape for the back and just match it up, right? That is the only way I could do it anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay, hi. Things are going well, and I definitely made the right decision because I'm loving this at the moment. This sleeve kind of confuses me. I don't, I don't really get it. I don't get the design. But I did like the sleeves and how, you know, kind of frilly and funky they were. So okay, I still have to make a decision on that, which will happen. And then I think that I want to add a bit more interest to it and do something with the bottom hem. Guys, hi. Okay, so here's my top, and I just got really excited about what I'm about to do. Okay, so I'm gonna shorten the top a little bit and then I'm going to add in two little pieces of elastic to the side seams on the inside so that it will kind of like scrunch up on either side like this. So cute, right? Okay, it's gonna be so easy. First, I'm gonna cut it off. I'm going to surge all of this and finish off this edge. On the insides, when I'm done finishing that raw edge, and I'm just gonna put it on each of the inside seams here. And just stitch it right on there. Give it some ruching. Okay. Moving on to the peach number. After much debate between me and myself, I have decided to go with this design here. I'm nervous, you know, it's, it's nothing new. Um, but I'm, but nervous. I'm nervous. It's fine. Okay, so we're just gonna go for it. I'm sure it'll turn out fine, right? It's gonna have to. Am I pulling this off? I got this for my birthday and I don't know if I am. I, maybe, I, yeah, maybe I need two, but then I would just feel like Francine from Arthur. Maybe I am, I don't know. <laughs> Help. I'm just gonna start out by trying to create top half of the top, like the cinched bra cup part, and then the cinched shoulder. I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in. <sighs> Do not ask me why it's taking me this long to get to this point, I don't know. All I've literally done is put elastic here, 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 and here. Like I haven't even done anything to the back, but I think it's coming along nicely. <laughs> I'm going to take elastic like I, just like I did for here and then bring it in from the side seam under here, like so it'll create that kind of look, you know? I think I'll, I wanna try and make the bottom half like tight, but how am I gonna do that? Or no, 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 no. Instead of doing it flat and fitted, I could do just like a couple more lines of elastic underneath as if it's like shirring. Like these tops here, I've been seeing these all over the internet. They're like popular now. So maybe I can do something like that. Okay, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> Lord help me. Okay, hi, little update for you. So I did the back with the same elastic method as the front looks pretty cute, right? Okay, and then I did it on the front, what I was talking about in the earlier clips. Yeah, it looks horrible. It looks bad. And little did I know I would have to redo this about three more times, yeah, and keep adjusting the elastic. <laughs> uh, that kind of sent me over the edge a little bit. It has been a hot minute since I started this video and I'm not feeling as passionate as I was when I started this top. But you know what, it's turning out, it's looking decent. This is what we've got right now. I have been sewing elastic for the past 50 days and I'm not that into it anymore. 
I am so done. Okay, so I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch from here down to the hem together. And then I'll add like maybe three or four more strands of elastic around the entire, <laughs> the entire width of the top. as sewing all of that elastic was. It was totally worth it. I really like both these tops. They're super trendy right now and I'm really excited, especially about the peach one because I know that's going all over the internet right now. I've seen it everywhere and I just think it's so doable. You know, you could find any sort of button up and like make that design work. So let me know if you try it because that would be so exciting for me to see. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching all of my videos, my upcycles. It's just, it's been my passion for forever. I don't know why I just get so excited about being able to create fashion sustainably and in a budget-friendly way and it's just what I've always done so I thank you for watching and following along and you guys are so special to me so thank you and I really hope to see you in my next video